Tuesday, but you're gonna see this tomorrow. And it's pretty cool because I'm here to test out the new Disney Max Pass system the day before it's out. So I'll get all the details on how it works and let you guys help prepare to use it next time you visit the Disneyland Resort because it's gonna be out and it's gonna be fun. So yeah, let's see how this app works. All right, so we are in the app and I have a ticket link today that's already been scanned for this app and you can scan your park ticket or you can scan your annual pass. So under Get Fast Pass. So here's our entire party. If you've used the Fast Pass Plus system for Disney World, this feels very similar. So I feel like I have an idea of kind of what to do, which is nice because I've used that system for a long time. <laughs> so right, see it's 1024. Oh, we could do screaming within like a minute. Okay, cool. I really like that it actually shows you the standby time as well as like the next fast pass return which is pretty rad all right so let's do screaming okay, fast pass for two guests we could go like in a minute rad <laughs> confirm that and oh cool that is it <laughs> if you already have a fast pass and you want to book your next one if you try to create one and you're not allowed to get one yet it will let you know right here, it says can make a new selection at 10.54 a.m. So you can go back and make your next plan for the day. Just like the paper fast pass, um, you're gonna have a wait time between booking them so you don't, don't get them back to back. Kind of like the fast pass plus system at Walt Disney World, which is a little bit different. Um, but yeah, more like a traditional fast pass. So I guess we should go ride Screamin'. We are outside of California Screamin', so we will click redeem. And here is one barcode and two barcode for every member of our party. So let's go scan this at these new fancy kiosks. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh so fancy. Thank you. <laughs> Just got off screaming, and as you know, the Max Pass system also gives you photo pass downloads. That includes ride attractions as well as any photo pass photographers that you see running throughout the parks. So we're looking for a picture right now. Um, let's see. We need to, I think all you do is get the number at the top of the photo. So let's see here. Which one is us? Oh, we're right here. So what you'll do is take this number right here and you'll input that in the app and then you'll get a download of your entire photo. So earlier it said that we couldn't book a fast pass until 1054, but because we redeemed that fast pass, we already can select another one and it's only, what, 1045? So right now we're gonna go ahead to Midway Mania and scan the park ticket because your paper ticket is kind of like a really great backup if your phone dies or anything else. You can book through the app as well as your ticket because it's linked. So let's go pull that. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh cool, so our return time is at 10.50? That's like actually in five minutes, what the heck? <laughs> What's really cool is that now that we've redeemed it with a paper ticket and we have a paper fast pass, we can scan this or it automatically links on the app so we can redeem it on here as well. And yeah, that's crazy. It's like, what? I, I can't believe we got them like back to back. I like, I, I get it. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> like this, this is a crazy amount of time saving. So now that we have a few minutes until our Midway Fast Pass, let's go ahead and pull our screaming ride photo because I'm sure that's pretty fun. So in photo, we're gonna link photo card or purchase and then we're gonna enter the ID that was at the top of our ride photo. So pro tip, have a friend take a picture of your code uh, so you can, you can enter that a lot easier. All right, it's been linked. So we'll check back in a little bit and uh, take a look at that photo. So even though we got paper passes, here we go. Digital, digital, yes, I love it. <laughs> Two, okay, cool. So now that we went through our second kiosk, our fast passes are technically redeemed. So what's cool is we can go ahead and book another one like immediately which is rad and get this so before we're even like boarding the attraction we can go in here and we can book a fast for dca 
But since we have a park hopper ticket with Max Pass, we can actually book in Disneyland, which is super rad. Let's see, so it's 11.02 right now. Let's do, let's do Indiana Jones. So confirm. Cool, so while we're in DCA, before we've even like boarded Toy Story Mania, we'll be able to basically get off of this ride, park hop over to Disneyland, and jump straight on Indiana Jones. All right, so one thing I wanna show you guys also, you'll see here that our Fast Pass for Indiana Jones is for two guests at 11.45, but if we want, we could cancel that for either both of us or just one of us. So let's say like Eric will still do Andy at 11.45, but I might cancel mine and see what else is available. So I will cancel my selection. And then, all right, so it's gonna refresh that. Okay, cool, so it already said that this is just for one guest and I will get the fast pass. So now this is updated Indiana Jones. So I have Indiana Jones for 11.45. So it's, you know, hit the wrong one. But that's cool, because I'll still be able to show you that Let's see, so now we wanna create a fast pass just for other guests. So, let's see what looks good. We're still over in DCA, but we can just book for Disneyland, which is rad. So let's say, oh, this will be good. So we'll put Eric on Matterhorn for 11.55. So I can do Indian, he can do Matterhorn, and then we can just meet up afterward and uh, make another, another fast pass together. And if he has this app on his phone as well and his ticket linked, he'll be able to see these changes as well. So he'll get a notification too. And since we get photo pass downloads and we're at Cars Land, which is my favorite place in the world because as you guys know, I'm a huge Cars fan. Uh, let's find a photo pass because maybe I need a picture here. Just did my photo pass so we have our QR code here to scan. Okay, awesome. And good. Cool. Thanks, Ray. And here's our ride photo and my Carsland photo because cruise is number one. And that's the rundown of how Max Pass works. I was skeptical. I'm not gonna lie. And it was so convenient. I'm really surprised by the amount of stuff that we were able to cover in such a short amount of time. Especially being able to book like for Disneyland while being in DCA was pretty awesome. Being able to book while you're still in line for the Fast Pass that you just redeemed. It's like, it's very convenient, it's very quick. I honestly think that if you had a park hopper ticket with Max Pass, you could do just about everything you wanted to in the park. Like, I really think that you could. Assuming the availability is there. I know that pricing is one thing that you guys have questions or concerns about. And just so you guys know, it is $10 a day per ticket per guest. So if you have a group of four people, all four of you want to take advantage of Max Pass, then all four ticket holders will need to have the Max Pass option. And you'll be able to either add Max Pass to your ticket after the fact or purchase tickets with Max Pass already included in your ticket price. If you are an annual pass holder, Premier Pass holders and Signature Plus Pass holders already have this built in. So that's pretty cool. You can add it for $75 for the year of your annual pass. I am kind of sold on this like when my dad visits like i am fortunate enough i have the premier pass so i'll have access to it so i'm definitely going to get him a ticket with max pass because we'll be able to do so much more during his visit but if you're an annual pass holder and you have family members coming to visit like it might be worth doing the ten dollars a day if you have a limited amount of time to spend in the park and you want to cover as much as possible also important to remember that paper fast pass system is still completely free this is not a system that you have to get um, if you want to get it, if you want to test it out, 10 bucks a day, it's worth it if you want to do like a lot of rides. If you have any other questions about anything and how the system works, leave in the comment below. I'll do my best to answer it because we talk a lot about how the system works today. And also let us know like if you're going to try it out or not because I'm really excited to see what you guys think of it too. So until next time, bye!